Lace Hank hook. Well, blah. blah. it's Jay and today I'm here with a Simon & Schuster haul. They recently sent me six arcs from the fall catalog. So they're all released September 2019 so I figured I would share them with you. By the time you see this video it's probably way past September 2019 but here we are. So without further ado let us get started. <sighs> So first I'll start with the young adult books that they sent me. The first one that they sent me was The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. This is about a young girl named Theodora who has always wanted to travel the world with her father looking up ancient artifacts. The only problem is is that Theodora's father has an 18 year old protege who he brings along on his trips. This means that Theodora cannot go on these expeditions with her dad and so she is left in the hotel room of their latest trip. The 18 year old's prodigy's name is Huck and one day Huck and her father go off on the expedition and Huck ends up coming back alone saying that her father was kidnapped and the only way to get him back is to find a ring that belonged to Vlad the Impaler himself. The only problem is that a secret society is also looking for the ring and they will stop at nothing including murder to get it in their possession. So it's basically Huck and Theodora against the secret society, but I think it sounds pretty interesting. It seems very different from the other books that she's written, so I'm kind of intrigued to see how they differ from each other because it's like a completely different genre, but I'm really excited about this one. The next book that they sent me was Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi, and this is all about how social media can affect the relationships that you have with other people. So it follows two teenagers. One is Pablo. He is a NYU dropout. The other is a teen pop sensation named Leanna Smith. They end up meeting by chance one morning at 5 a.m. and Basically, they start this relationship, but they realize that they probably can't be together forever because they come from very different lifestyles. And it's basically the story of them like learning who they are, all that jazz when you're a teenager, etc, etc. But I think that this is going to be a pretty interesting read. It says that it's a new romance about how social media influences relationships every day, so we'll see how this one goes. The next one is probably the one that I'm the most excited for. I'm one, obsessed with this cover and also it just sounds really good, but it is Slay by Brittany Morris. This follows 17-year-old Kira who is an honor student, she's a math tutor, and she's one of the only black students at her high school, but by night she is part of a online community for a role-playing multiplayer card game called Slay, which is predominantly for black individuals, and nobody in her life knows that she participates in this game, not even her boyfriend Malcolm, who believes that video games are the downfall for the black man. But then one night in Kansas City, a teen is murdered due to a slay dispute, and this causes the game to become mainstream and reach the media, which causes the slay to be labeled as racist, exclusionist, and a hub for very violent crimes and thugs. So Kira decides that she is going to save the game, but she also begins to lose herself in the process, so she needs to find the balance of saving this game that she loves so much where she can be herself, and being out in the real world and it's basically the story of that but I'm really excited about this I think it sounds so good and like I said this cover ugh, I love it so they also sent me an adult novel which the presentation of this book is so pretty so this is the outside and it says coming from Simon Schuster September 2019 and then you open it up and it's got a letter from the author it's got a little heron in blue and then you open it again it's got the information about the marketing campaign, but then the cover, the book, the gorgeousness that is The World That We Knew by Alice Hoffman, and it's shiny, and I love it. It's so pretty. This follows a woman named Hani Khan who sends her 12-year-old daughter Leah away in order to save her from the Nazi regime in Berlin, 1941, and she ends up at a rabbi's house where she meets the daughter of the rabbi named Etty, who actually creates a mystical Jewish creature named Ava, who is enlisted to protect Leah. And Basically, once Ava is brought into this world, the three girls become entwined and their paths will cross and their fortunes are basically foretold and it's like the story of that. So I 
guess it's kind of like magical realism. I'm not really sure, but I'm intrigued. I'm definitely interested to see where it's gonna go and what this mystical Jewish creature is all about. But. And then Simon and Shishar also sent me two middle grade books, which I think sound really cute. The first is The Very Very Far North by Dan Barrell, and this follows a young little polar bear and his friends out in the very very far north. But I think that this is gonna be cute. It's got a lot of like pictures throughout the book of their adventures so I think this is gonna be like a super quick read so here for that and also I really like the colors of the cover purple and pink and then the last book that they sent to me was Charlie Thorne and The Last Equation by Stuart Gibbs. This follows a young girl named Charlie who is also a spy and she is sent on a mission to save the last equation that Albert Einstein ever wrote, which is supposed to help the world in a great way. But there is also a secret society looking for this equation at the same time and it's like their adventures and trying to find the equation. Again, a super quick, probably super cute read, and we love spies, so I'm excited. Alright guys, so those were all the books that Simon & Schuster sent me that are going to be released September 2019, so check them out if you're interested in them. Thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me these books, and let me know down below if you guys plan on reading any of these, or by the time you see this video if you've read any of them and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.